Well, here we are. It's our fifth podcast discussing the best kept secrets and supplements. I'm Bob Burdekin with New Wave Therapy, and joining me is Dan Young of Country Doctor Nutritional Center. Now, I know I keep hey, saying this, but I, I'm just so surprised how many people keep coming each week. All we do is talk about how the body operates, how simple it is to maintain it, and even the benefits of the Country Doctor products just to do that. It really yeah. does amaze me. So I just want to say welcome to all the new people, but I'm going to go ahead and jump right in. And I want to start the discussion about the lymphatic system. And I'm sure Dan's got a lot to say. So we'll just let him take the stage here and go with it. That would be great. Thank you so much, Bob. I love the series that you and I are putting together for people. You know, getting healthy and getting your health back in order is much easier than we have been led to believe. But I'll tell you, when we do consistency and we stay focused and we have some discipline behind it over periods of time, I have seen some of the most amazing transformations of health and health restorations. And the product that we're going to be speaking about today is has been a big part of that, the lymph detox and okay. focusing on the okay. lymph system. So what, what exactly does the lymphatic system do? In a nutshell, we have about eight pints of blood. We have a heart that moves, fires and moves the blood. We also have about 42 pints of lymphatic fluid. But the only thing that moves this fluid is deep diaphragmatic breathing, yoga exercises, the rebounder machines, or maybe brisk walking around the park where you're really pumping your arms. That's really all that will move that lymphatic fluid. And it is the key. It is the core essence of a healthy immune system. It processes toxins. And, and in closing on the lymph system, to keep it very simple, the lymph fluid is supposed to be like water. What happens in people as they get toxic and sedentary from a sedentary lifestyle, it goes from water to more like a milk consistency, from milk to yogurt, and from yogurt to cottage cheese. And we've seen the effects of severe lymphatic cases when you see the dimples in the legs and the large ankle, rounded ankles on men and women that they can get, unfortunately. And this is a sign of a severely congested, severely toxic, non-moving lymphatic system. And it's the key to the immune system. Okay. Well, how can our listeners determine that they might be having trouble with their lymphatic system? If I noticing those things that in many people will find that they have they'll find lymph nodes men will even find lymph nodes in the mammary tissue that are swollen you can get them through the glands in the neck you'll get swelling little lymph nodes under the arm women are taught to do self-examination and that's what we're looking for is lymph node activity behind the legs behind the kneecaps specifically on the back side of the legs you can actually massage through there and see if you can find some small, maybe pea size, you know, lymph nodes that are starting to show signs of congestion. This is one of the many ways you can determine if a good lymph detox is right for you. Okay. So what you're actually telling me is that women are taught to do this, but men aren't. So we need to be a little more, you know, getting that out to the people, I guess. We live in a day and age now, Bob, where men have actually been diagnosed with breast cancer. That's true. Yeah. So yes, men should do a really good thorough exam on themselves as well, just like women are taught, especially men who might be overweight and need to do some, you know, weight management or definitely living a sedentary lifestyle. These are things that contribute to the lymphatic congestion. So what I'm starting to understand is that as people become more aware of their body's actions and various things they should look for. The body is not just crying out for help. It's literally screaming for attention. Yes. With modern diets being what they are, as you alluded to in, in previous podcasts, yeah. you know, the entire lifestyles that we live, the standard American diet abbreviated as SAD that we're all subject to and not, you know, poor choices, poor habits, not really being living with purpose and, and understanding that the fuel quality we can give the body determines performance. None of us has a drug deficiency. We all have a nutritional deficiency and the lymphatics will reveal it to us. Okay. So how would people go about making sure that their lymphatic system is working properly? 
one of the key things, again, is the examination, self-examination. When you pull your socks down, if you have a swelled up area, a lot of the times people say, oh, that could be circulatory. Yes, it could. But don't rule out that that's lymphatics not flowing properly and building up. So watch for socks for women who wear undergarments, especially the underwire bras. Well, if they take that garment off and they look in the mirror and there's redness under that tissue in that area, if it's red, that's a garment. And first of all, they need to get a different garment, like a non-underwire bra. I think uh, Kix or Nix has a good product. And, but then they need, they're getting lymphatic pooling. And when that lymphatic system and that fluid pools, that's when we run into trouble. And it can pool for a long period of time without really giving us any real physical symptom or feedback. But if you notice these little subtle things like self-examination, redness from a garment, either a sock or a bra, then you know that you're getting lymphatic congestion and it's time to do a lymph detox. Okay. And change the garment. Okay. So what do you suggest they use then? Well, it can get a non-underwire bra for women. You know, women are used to spending between $50 and $80 for one bra, okay? And you can go online and find the non-underwire kind that allows better flow of the lymphatics for as little as $30 to $50. Okay. I'm sure you've got a product that would just uh, uh, would augment that quite a bit, though. Yes, yes. With, with the detox we talked about with our liver gallbladder flush, Right. A HP detox formula, but we also have a formula that has really stood the test of time. It's called HP Lymph Detox. Now, this formula, I'm going to touch on it just briefly, but I want to share with you, you know, some of the things you're going to find in here, like red clover for the liver, chaparral, which is very effective at helping the body naturally reduce and minimize any kind of like cyst activity. Very, very important for the lymphatic system. Cloak root, obviously, that's going to be something that's going to provide healing. Different emulsifiers like sarsaparilla and uh, buckthorn. These are all herbal formulas and herbal synergistic formulas that have been proven for several generations that when taken in the form of a liquid, which is a best delivery systems to the body, so you can utilize these. And from a therapeutic action, when you think about what these different herbs will do for you, we're talking about some of the most potent antioxidants on the planet, all in one, uh, one simple formula. And many people who are concerned about their health, who look into and research ways to improve their health, are familiar with the buzzword antioxidants. You know, some yep. of the other things that we have through here is to help dissolve different types of toxic buildup in the system. And it's just a wonderful, and actually, it's a, a, a very strong tasting herbal formula. I uh, think one of the strongest tasting formulas that we have, but it is a wonderful detoxifying agent that really targets and improves and enhances the lymphatic performance. Now, I will say this, make certain the person who's doing the lymph detox has gone through very, you know, very properly the bowel cleanse, making sure they have really good bowel movements, and while you're doing this cleanse, you have to drink a gallon of water daily. We need to flush the system properly and eliminate these toxins that build up in this 40 plus pints of lymphatic fluid that we all have. That's one thing I noticed with all of these other programs that we have shown since the first one, everybody should initially use the DF1 and 2 prior to doing any of those. Is that yeah. correct? Yes. The body, in order to achieve maximum harmony, okay, we want to do a sequential approach. So bowel, liver, kidney, then lymphatic. Okay? I see. In that order, we find clinically, our experience for the past over 20 years now has been that when we do a harmonious approach with these types of cleanses, do them properly and do enough of them sequentially, that's how you get maximum restoration of health. Well, you know, Dan, as we've progressed weekly and expanded our coverage of the workings of the human body, I've started to realize that there's so much that people have not been taught or even allowed to know in order to truly take control of their health. 
Yeah. Do you notice that in, in your practice? Or? You know, I have the conversation every day with people at some point, Monday through Thursday here in Cheyenne, and that is that we were not given an owner's bank at birth. Parents weren't given a well thought out, proven owner's manual. And then as we became into adolescence and young adults and matured, we weren't given a well thought out owner's manual for these bodies. And so, yes, we spend all of our time educating, all of our time helping people understand all the things that they can do to position themselves to thrive, to put their health in order and proper order over an extended period of time. And when you do that, the byproduct is this body has a chance to perform optimally. It has a chance to be as healthy as possible and experience longevity and performance. Well, that's great to know. You know, that, that also makes me bring another topic forward. And that's, you know, our weekly discussions, we really started to bring to the forefront. People are starting to become more aware of how their bodies do operate and how simple the care can be in order that allows it to operate at their peak performance. And just as notable is that people have not always given the information again to allow them to do just that. Yeah. It's been our clinical experience, Bob, that a few simple disciplines practiced regularly over an extended period of time is really all it takes. Okay. Very simple. It takes effort. Okay. It takes developing different habits, takes patience, but a few simple disciplines practiced on a consistent basis is how that most valuable thing we all possess, our personal health yeah. is going to be received. It's going to be restored and we're going to avoid a lot of, in a proactive preventative math, we're going to avoid a lot of things that we see our family and friends dealing with. Well, do you have any stories that this time to share with us about lymphatics or like you've done with other topics? I do. My most recent was a young lady out of California. Uh, she's a three time author her books have won as many as 27 different awards in the area of cleansing and living toxic free in a toxic environment. And uh, she's working with, been working with a functional medicine doctor for some time. She's a health coach. And when I posted some additional similar information, like what you and I are trying to get out to people, uh, she came across it and reached out to me and we put her on the lymph, the lymph detox with the uh, HP detox, the companion product to support liver and digestion. And uh, she reported great gains back to me and to use her words, not mine, but she said, Dan, the kegels are gone. <laughs> well, I know so we can get a lot of interest on our site because we handle the products, you know, and some of, you know, most of the people don't realize I do mostly work with animals, but I do yeah. a lot of interaction with the owners. And um, yes. I've done a lot of the things you've talked about. I get people, in fact, I just had a new one yesterday. Call me up and say, I saw your podcast the other day. And my problem is I'm having menopause. Ah. And I noticed you've got two different products. So which one should I use? I said, I'm coming out in your neighborhood next week anyway. Why don't I just show you in person? It's just it's fine. Bring it on over. Help me. That's awesome. So, yeah, you know, yeah. we're really getting good results. We're getting people noticing. It's just really doing a great job. Yeah. That's, that's music to our ears. That's what we live for, Bob, as I know you and I both love to serve people. Yeah. And the four, the four legged animals. Hey, they like to be healthy too, right? Yeah. I use some of these products even with the horses. And, yeah. you know, they work phenomenally because they're natural. They're, they're food products, you know? Yes. They're not drugs. No. So, no. But then I'm sure you've already planned out what's going to be discussed in next week's podcast. Can you give us some sort of idea where we're going? Next week, I am thrilled, as with all of our products, working sequentially together. Next week, we are going to touch on a product called HPHV Met. And that stands for heavy metal. And it is a, another agent of nature that naturally in a non-invasive, non-toxic way restores the body's ability to remove excess toxins and buildup in the cells. Now we're moving beyond the lymphatics 
And we're actually going to the cellular distribution of toxins and their removal. And we're going to talk in depth about that on our next, our next podcast. Oh, well, that's really great. So I want to let everybody remember that, you know, we put up a new podcast every Monday. And if you haven't already done so, please like, share, subscribe, give us a thumbs up to help that good old, what is it called? Algorithm. Al yes. Algorithm. And do hit the notification bell. And that's what's truly making this whole series grow the way it is. Yeah. Until next week, when Dan and I will bring you more of the best kept secrets and supplements, be safe and be healthy.